Hello, my name is Agustin, and I'm the solo game developer at Paper Mouse Games. And today I'm going to show you a game I'm building called Amber Roots. Amber Roots is a monster taming non-linear RPG where you'll be living out your life in your own personal ranch, taming and taking care of monsters, using them in turn-based party battles, and exploring a large world at your own pace as you make your own goals. It's heavily inspired by a combination of elements from the Monster Rancher games, Stardew Valley and Harvest Moon, and Dragon Quest and Old School Final Fantasy. Now, the game is still in very much early development, so everything is subject to change and there are a lot of placeholders and unpolished, unfinished things. On the upside, that's partially why I'm making these videos. I want to make devlogs of the development of this game moving forward. Uh, implementing features, taking in feedback, and showing the process. So a little bit about myself. Uh, this is going to be the first game release that I have, and it's a pretty major undertaking, and it's a lot of work, but I'm confident I can get it done. This is kind of a dream game that I've been thinking about for a long time, and I'm having a ton of fun doing it, and I'm learning a ton. I'm also working on it full time, which helps a lot. So, how am I making Amber Roots? Well, I'm using the Unity game engine to make the game itself, and I'm using a sprite to make all of the art uh, in the game. Amber Roots has been in development for about a year now, and I've been using that time to make up all of the core systems that will be in the game, like inventory and scene transitions and basic NPC dialogue, things like that. I've also got a day and night cycle in place right now, as you can see in the top left corner of the screen there. And the time will tick away as you play, and the days will pass, and the seasons will pass, and the years will come and go as you live your life with your monsters in your ranch. So, a little bit of background on the story in Amber Roots. Uh, it takes place in a fantasy world, and there are giant ancient trees in the world. These trees are magical and are believed to be the source of all life in the world. They also produce a very special kind of amber, that inside it has the essence of a monster. You can collect this amber in a variety of ways, and when you take it back to your ranch, you can activate it using an amber root and bring a monster to life. Once you have a monster in your ranch, you can train them for combat, or you can have them craft items that you can then use or sell. You'll also have to take care of your monsters, feeding them, petting them, making sure they're entertained and in a good mood. And if you don't take good care of them, they could get sick or worse. My goal with Amber Roots is to give the player a lot of freedom, not just in big open areas to explore, but also in what the player wants to do and what goals they want to tackle. Speaking of open areas, there will be large explorable areas. Some of them will be outdoors like forests and plains and beaches, and some of them will be indoors like caves and dungeons. I'm also working on a world map system where you'll be able to traverse large distances and go to entirely different biomes or towns to explore. Now, as I mentioned, you'll also be able to train your monster in combat. And though I don't have any combat to show right now, the combat in Amber Roots will be fairly traditional JRPG combat, something like what you might see in old school Dragon Quest or Final Fantasy games. You'll have a party of up to four monsters, and you'll be able to fight wild monsters or participate in competitions, and your monsters will be able to use a variety of techniques and moves that will be determined by what you teach them. The game will have a skill tree system, and you'll be able to mix and match different skill trees in your monsters to come up with unique combinations of abilities for each particular monster that you're raising. Not all of these skills will be combat related either. Your monsters will be able to learn to craft items, and to craft these items they'll need to gather raw materials in the wilderness. Your ranch will be situated just outside of town. And in that town, you'll be able to meet, befriend, and even romance different NPCs, similar to what you would see in a Harvest Moon, Story of Seasons, or Stardew Valley game. So what are my goals moving forward with Amber Roots? Well, one of my biggest goals is continuing to make these videos and making devlogs of the game. I would love to be able to showcase each feature I talked about in more detail, 
and I'd also like to document my progress going forward, getting feedback from everyone and showing off everything I've been working on. Another major upcoming goal for me this year is trying to get a trailer for Amber Roots made. To do that, I'll have to craft a few systems from scratch, overhaul a couple of things, and polish a bunch of stuff that's already there. But I'd really love a true game trailer showing off all of the different things that I plan on putting in the game. In a way, the trailer will shape what I need to work on going forward. The most important of which is probably the combat. But I also want to work on the skill trees and showing how that's going to work. I'd like to get the gathering system up and running, and actually implementing seasons and weather into the game. I would also really like to polish NPC interaction and how I'm storing dialogue on my end. My hope is to make devlogs that won't just be informative in terms of where the game is at and what kind of progress I'm making, but also informative for people who want to make games or who are curious about the process of every aspect of game development, from making a trailer to creating a complex system inside of Unity. I am by no means an expert when it comes to Unity or game development, after all this is my first game, but I do want to share my experience to show what the journey looks like from the perspective of someone who is new and who isn't an expert. So that's what I had to show for today. Um, and go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more upcoming devlogs of Amber Roots. And give me some feedback uh, as to what kind of aspects you might want to see more of in the devlogs. Um, go ahead and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And there's also a link to my Twitter down in the video description. And I'll see you soon.